Hello everybody, I am Viceroy and today we're going to be giving a look at Diplomacy is not an option. So this is a game developed and published by Door 407 and is currently out in early access and for approximately the next day is available for 40% off. So I'll drop a link in the description for that if you want to check it out. So uh, Diplomacy is not an option is a strategy game set in a medieval fantasy world. Build your town and defenses, raise huge armies, and fight against massive hordes of enemies. How long can you survive? Is the description. So let's see, how long can we survive? I have not played this game at all, so I have no idea what to expect. Let's give it a go. What to call you, my lord? I, my name is Lord Viceroy. Obviously. So we got challenge mode, sandbox mode, endless mode, campaign, tutorial. That's uh, probably a good idea to start with this tutorial, right? Let's learn. There's no knowledge that is not power. Mission objectives complete all the tasks to end tutorial. Okay. Use WASD and arrow keys to move camera. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. By default, you can also use... Probably done that too quickly then. So mouse wheel to rotate or Q and E. Page up, page down for tilt. Town hall is the main building of your settlement. Once it is destroyed, you will immediately lose the game. Select town hall by clicking. To control your troops, you need to highlight them. Select several swordsmen or archers by pressing left mouse button and dragging the selection box around them. You're under attack. Click right mouse button to order selected swordsmen to move or attack the enemy. Um. Oh, I was going to say, who's attacking us? Come on, troops. There we go. Victory! Press Alt to display troops, health bars, and other useful information. Okay, that's handy. Every day, your citizens and troops consume food. To avoid famine, you're going to need food production. Berry Picker's House will do. Okay, Berry Picker's House. Down here? Food. Berry Picker's House. Do we place it like... Right next to, I mean, I'm guessing they're berry bushes. They look like berry bushes. They're definitely berry bushes, and they have 20 food each. How far can we zoom in? That's pretty decent. Okay. Camera controls are pretty good. Fisherman's Hut provides your settlement with food, too. However, fish is a finite, non replenishable source. When there are no schools of fish left in the body of water, Fisherman stop food production. So fisherman's hat. Um, ah. Okay. I like the graphics. Who like the graphics? Easy on the eyes. And I imagine when we get like massive armies fighting each other, these graphics are going to be a very good choice rather than have everybody rendered in with like thousands of polygons per character. Can't see that ending well. You need wood for construction. To get it, build a lumber mill. So we want to go to... Oh, it tells you there what to go in. Duh. Um, resource production. Lumber mill. I guess we just place that anywhere near some trees. So let's put that down here. What's that? A stone mine. Ah. Oops. Speed controls? No, not yet anyway. Are oh, they down there? Okay. F2 and F3? Yeah, all right, okay. Changing the working radius. For some buildings, like Lumber Mill, you can set and adjust working radius. Replace the flag. Okay, um, so we're going to choose. Set work target link here. There's a lot of trees in this area, that makes sense. Change the working radius for three tiles or more. Three tiles or more. Oh, 
Does that mean we just gotta do it further away? Oh, wait, I see. Ah, right, okay. Ah, okay, that's handy. It seems someone died. Oh, no. The bodies of your troops and citizens lying around the settlement will spread disease. Someone has to bury the dead somewhere. So we want to go to buildings. Nope, not that building. Um, this building. And we want this one. Gravedigger's house. Um, let's put that down here, kind of out the way. We also need a cemetery. Again, go on there. In the middle of our settlement, do we sort of on the edge? There seems like a good place. Good place as any. Like the building animations. Reminds me of the old Age of Empires games. Every morning, new people come to your settlement. If there is room for them, build a couple of houses. Okay. So you want houses and house. Just put them somewhere like... It would make sense. Up here, maybe? Yeah. Go one. Put them right next to each other. Yeah. Squeeze them in. <laughs> We're only supposed to build two, but we built three now. That's fine. Ro -ro -ro. Here we go. The more builders houses you have, the faster you will finish construction works. Moreover, there are two builders at the town hall. I want to build that and builder's house. Could we put them anywhere? Let's just put them here. Okay, avoid building side by side, especially for those buildings that require a worker. Oh, we're under attack. Um, Charge! Leave at least one tile of free space for your workers to access the buildings. Okay, so are these two close together? They are attacking our buildings. Yay, we made it. Died another enemy? Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm? Okay, so double clicking on a type of troop. We'll select all, like, double clicking on a swordsman, we'll select all swordsmen within the area, that's good to know. Okay, builders also repair buildings. Press the auto repair button for them to do this automatically. Resources for repairs will also be written off automatically. Go and destroy their houses yet. Um, auto repair. Control K. So we select the builder's hat and auto repair. Control K. Okay, now it looks like they're doing it. Or right click to turn auto repair on as well, I'm guessing. Okay, I think we've done it. I mean, that's the one that's damaged, so. Set top priority. Oh, we're auto repairs up there. My bad. Right, okay. Research allows you to improve the economic and military life of your settlement. Some research gets unlocked after you construct or improve certain buildings. Open the research window and start any available research. Ah? Uh, no. Research. Um, we got Town Hall 1 already built. From that, we can research comfortable shoes. Barracks 1. Oh, no, we can't do that yet. Okay, so we can research comfortable shoes. Builders Guild 1. Builders Guild raises the qualifications of its members and coordinates them. 10% movement speed. Okay. Advanced toolkits. Advanced toolkits increase each builder's efficiency. And stained wood. Stained wood technology increases the durability of all the wooden defensive buildings. Hmm. What do we go for? 
What do we go for? Let's go for... Comfortable shoes. So then all the lumberjacks, miners, berry pickers, fishermen, farmers, and foresters all gain 10% speed. That seems like a good one to go for. What a lovely sunny day. Oh, look at them. Really like do I like the graphics on this game. Very cozy and relaxing to look at. I mean, imagine the battle's not going to be so much, but at the moment it's nice and peaceful. A nice little village. Everybody's doing their thing. A disease has begun to spread in your settlement. To deal with it, build a hospital. So we need that and that. Where are we going to put the hospital? Let's put it over here. By the rocks. Don't know if that's a good idea. Hopefully it is. Are these buildings accessible? I mean, it's not saying people can't access the building, so I'm assuming that it's okay. You're the Lord. Attacking waves one. In diplomacy is not an option. The enemy will attack you in waves. In addition, your settlement is surrounded by enemy camps. Usually, you have to repel several attacking waves to win. You can see on the mini-map where the nearest wave of enemies will come from. Okay, so down there. Okay. You need to raise your military strength to deal with their superior enemy forces. Build barracks and hire archers in it. Okay. Um, barracks. Put the barracks. We're going to put the barracks over here. Yeah. What now? I think we should attack this little village thing. Yeah, let's get rid of these before they uh, come back and attack us. Destroy the rebels' hut. Research complete. Ooh, research them. Um, what can we research next? Um, okay, let's do the builders' guild one then. Movement speed on them. The barracks going up. Oh yeah. Hmm? I don't know if people like um, enemies will spawn back in these buildings, but. Oh, I'm destroying them, and it turns out we can take them over. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, what's that? Soul crystal. Mm -hmm. What now? Don't know what it does. Sounds cool. Moving. Soul crystals used for spell casting. Ah, okay. I'm archers. Five archers, which requires one civilian, one food, and three wood. And a swordsman is one civilian and one food. We got more berry bushes there. Hey. We doing on these? Oh, we got plenty of food left yet. Yeah. He's doing a decent job with these trees, though. Um, hey. uh, so if I put it big enough radius like that, I don't need to build another one. They'll just kind of like move over here to uh, harvest instead. I don't know if that's efficient, but. It'll do for now. Um, to build defensive structures on the way of the approaching enemy. Ten walls and a wooden tower and or wooden gates. Okay. So the enemy's coming from this direction. So if we send the swordsmen down there. We'll have a look. See if we go anywhere we can. Because I don't know. I'm guessing they can walk through the trees here. But if there's somewhere obvious we can build a wall like between two... Um, Sets of rocks or something, that would be a good start. Use uh, natural defenses. Oh, nope, nothing obvious. It right. <laughs> sounds happy, don't they? All right. Oh, so, yeah. Where's the archers gone? We can use them too. Yeah, I'm on archers. Who was that? <gasps> Enemies. Oh, yeah. Well, they're determined they want to attack that, so let's let them carry on. Right, walls. Wooden wall. Um, finish placing. 
okay. So we don't have to do that much so far. So that's okay. Hmm? That's okay. Oh, another soul crystal. Oh, I like this bit. How long until we're attacked? So population growth 11 per day. Oh, I love them. Food consuming 45 per day. So currently sold food is 93. Um, we're consuming 45 and we're producing 41. So in a little bit of a deficit, but it's not too bad at the moment. Let's go. If we stop this one being built, can we stop that? Yeah. And this one. And what we're going to do is build a gate, which we need more wood for. So we're building another log um, lumber mill. I feel like it is. How much do they do at a time? We have 27 wood and we're producing 48. Oops, no. We're on a new day. Who was that? More rebels, I think. The walls are partially done. Okay, let's see if we can build some more. Um, How wide is the gate? Not enough. Five. Five wood. We don't have five wood, do we? Okay, I think we're going to build another lumber mill. So I feel like we're going to go through a lot of wood. I feel like that's a good idea. We'll build it over here. And set the work area like so. Shrink it down a little bit. There we go. Nice. So we have 45 out of 45 population. We have 18 free workers, so we're still... Well okay for workers at the moment. Okay, now we can build a gate. Um, rotate using Q and E. That's a nice gate. Now does the big bit go on the outside or the inside? Um, in, inside looks more flush, doesn't it? Let's go with the inside. I don't know if we'll to build any more than that yet. Okay. Oh, just got some more wood. We're getting there slowly. <laughs> We've almost completed our wall. They built pretty quickly, so that's good. Newton Garrison, six people in there, so where's Morning. our archers? Huh? Get them in there. Did we build some towers as well? No, we can afford them at the moment. And our second lumber mill gets uh, on the go. It'll be okay. Wooden tower and all gates. So we're gonna definitely going to do the gate. Um, move these up here. Out the ah. way. So they're garrison now. Use the button to end garrison just in case I need. Okay, move out. That's good. That's easy enough. Gates are opened. Back the nearest target. Yeah. Ooh, attack the strongest target. Nearest or strongest? Hmm. I think strongest target is a good idea. That's what the towers are like. So if we put one of them... Like... There. That's cool though, we can just build it through the wall. I don't know if we got any um, wood back from doing that mine, so we may have lost a little oh, bit yeah. there. We explore a little bit down here. I'm not sure if they can get through the trees. Then we'll get oh, yeah. three archers. I mean, you can go in the tower. And hold up to nine ranged troops or one war machine. Huh? Nice. Okay. This uh, garrison, some archers in there. Hmm? Spell casting. You can also use magic. Without an obelisk, you can only summon. You can only cast summon spell. Cast summon spell. Okay. How do you do that? Um, summon. Enemy forces are approaching. Ooh. Who are they? Dark knights. Snazzy. Yeah. What now? They sound cool. Um. 
I like them. They sound cool. Okay, well, since they are swords people, may as well team them up with these guys. Oh, here they come. Yeah, you can't gas them in there, because it wouldn't be a point. Let's, let's attack. Charge! They are attacking again. Probably should have trained up more archers. They're doing alright, actually. Kill all the enemies. Okay. Victory! Killed. Enemies, 35. That was alright. That seems fairly straightforward, doesn't it? Your grandfather, Sir Duncan Ironbow, was a true war hero in the battle for the independence of Sambrang... Sambrangia? He chopped 15 Inverland knights and they bit off the ear of another. <laughs> for that Queen Sybil, the carefree granted him a fief and a title of nobility. The fief had a had been I'm sorry if I'm butchering these words had <laughs> been a poor place even under your grandfather yet your father left much of it desolated especially the wine cellar <laughs> when he broke his neck while hunting deer your reign began being young you wanted to become famous but after 16 years of peaceful life in the middle of nowhere you left those dreams behind after all unlike many you already have a glorious bloodline and a castle. Select difficulty, walking in the park, challenge accepted, ultra hardcore. Let's go with challenge accepted, go down the middle. New curtains. That's a lot of money. It appears as though my lord is bored. <laughs> oh dear. Kitty Sula Pupulta. Pupulta, Garaden Malakiki. Just money straight away. Is a lot of wine or bead? Can bring our money. Apupiti Beredildi. Garaden Meridinti, Carapampisco Marambendre. 
Ah, so a revolt. Wake up call. April 28th, 1491. The fire of peasant rebellion suddenly broke out in my fief. The mob wants me, my family, and anyone else who is in any way connected with royalty dead. A mob of armed peasants is heading for my castle, ravaging everything their dirty rigs can reach. Mission objectives, repulse all enemy attacks, kill all rebels in the valley, otherwise they will join the final attacking wave. Okay. We got this. So if we do a control one, can we group them? Ah, awesome. Okay. So first of all then, let's build a house. This one for now. And we want a lumber mill. Oh. Boom. Uh, catapults uh, starting early. And we want some food, so berry picker's house and fisherman's hut. We can get farms too, handy. Additional defenses, watchtower, guard tower, massive guard tower. <laughs> okay, what's that? Chickens. Now let's go pick up the soul crystal. another house and I feel like we're gonna need a stone mine build this house we we'll build a cemetery yet I don't think we quite need that yet building that stores stone wood and iron you may order to keep only resources of a certain type in one particular storage and granary an obelisk the spells okay good start on a good start counselor my lord for the first time in history your castle will be stormed and if we are to tell anyone what it was like i would advise you make some steps i'm gonna We have a small army so far and we're going to train more, it's fine. Ah, so auto repair is automatically turned on for all buildings ah. once you select it, good to know. We need to kill all these little village, uh, villagers, otherwise they'll join the final attack. A lot of van berry bushes around here, though, so it's good. Ah. Who's a couple more down there? Sure. Big group. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think we're a bit outnumbered there. We don't want to. Yeah, we don't want them to start attacking us yet. We're not quite ready for them. Oh, we'll research. Um, Comfortable shoes. We need 15 wood to start that one. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Okay. We'll start that. We have three three workers. So let's build another house. Build another two houses. So we're going to need to train up some troops anyway, aren't we? A new day has begun. Oh, yeah. Right. We want oh, these yeah. to stand. Because if these attack... I want him to stand hold around this area. Stand guard, even. So, yeah, they can stay there. We'll move this too far. Third. Open market. Oh, formations. Ah, okay. So... Oh, click left mouse button to the ooh. That of all upsetting people here. Yeah. Oh, I just blew up a tree. Was that necessary? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, a tree. Oh, more fish down there. Once it's safe, maybe we should set up another hut. Oh, fishing. Let's get another lumber mill on the go, though. And move it down here. We got all this area then as well. We've got ten free workers now. Good. Who was that? Part with food. Just left out in the middle of nowhere. Let's get it. That's 18 food. Okay. Free food just out in the open. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's quite a few. Uh, don't want to upset them yet. So we'll destroy this and we'll fall back. So we got them there and these down here. I don't know if they're part of the main attack. Or whether there's another attack coming and these may join them. Oh, cool. Okay. So we can change the formation using Q and E while holding right down right mouse button. Just wanted to line up like that for now, though. Let's get the uh, this other gem. Assuming there's not too many enemies are there. Can we attack us? What's on there? Oh, wood. Handy. Let's get that. There we go. We got 112 wood in stock now. Just build a barracks. Hang on. Barracks is under this. Build it there. We'll set the rally point to in front of the castle. Yeah, research. Comfortable shoes. Not enough. Oh, is this stone? Oh, it's stone. I thought it was wood. Okay, so if we build a stone mine, let's see, yeah, probably here, maybe this side. Yeah, let's go this side. A bit safer option for now, isn't it? And I think we'll build another berry picker's house as well. Let's get some more food in, and um, but we'll build this one. Over here. We'll probably have to start building walls shortly. And where the main attack's going to be. Oh, that's ready. Okay, let's train up some more archers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and some swordsmen. That's four. <laughs> One more beach. There we go. They train pretty quickly. That's good. Got seven free workers. That's good. Okay, we've started to get some stone in now. So we have one stone. And they yeah. drop off one at a time. And we need 15 for the research. So do we do... Um, we could do that one because it needs one. Oh, we'll wait a minute. We'll do this one. Rx. Okay. Um... This recipe is the secret of success of archers from the Gorgoth Empire. Gives battle trance active skill for archer. Attack speed increased by two times, 20 second duration. Okay, so it's like a power up for the archers, okay. So we're going to get this research started in a minute. And we have enough stone. You lot get on there enjoying this lot. So you can go and attack some of those villagers then. The, uh, the peasants who are revolting. Oh. Ah, we have two minutes until the first uh, wave yeah. is coming in. Let's build some defenses. Can't build out there, it's too far away. Okay. Um. We don't have enough wood to do any more than that. I mean, I think we should be able to repulse the first wave. Oh, yeah. 
without too many defenses? My lord, it appears that our eagle-eyed scouts lack arithmetic's basics. One said attackers are plenty, the second said very many. The third lost count and the fourth can't count at all. <laughs> uh, good old scouts, eh? Well, they're going to attack from up here. So do we try and take out some of these first or do we just get ready for battle? Because these may join these once they start attacking. Maybe we should try and take out some of these first. Because they'll join the, the battle otherwise, won't they? Ooh, stone. Get some of that. And some of that. Okay, so 30 seconds. We best get back over here. They're going to attack from this sort of direction. So let's get ready. We can't build anyway. I think it's too far away. We'll just get ready. Oh, can we um, call in some... Yes, we can. We're going to call in some knights because we have 10 soul crystals. Let's not forget to do that. We can build another... Enemy forces are approaching. Fisherman's hat. Okay, let's summon in some reinforcements. Ta-da! Huh? Right, we're ready. How long do these last? Is there a time limit on them? Let's go. Okay, that we're ready. We're ready. It's quite a few of them, but we we got this. Come on, soul knights. Yes, we're hammering them. Victory. What if they heal? I think we lost any, but this guy almost died. One health. He's very lucky. My lord, allow me to introduce you a crowd of unwashed scum who have dared to challenge you. Well, my lord, apparently the starving, destitute, and deprived rabble were simply looking for a way to die with dignity. As uh, befits a wise shepherd, you showed your flock the right direction. <laughs> huh? Do these heal over time? Oh, yeah. yeah, they do. They heal slowly when they're not in combat. Okay, so we're going to send them down here. And then when they've healed, we're going to send them to attack these rebels down here. Right. Now these have health. I think the blue bar then is how much longer they're going to stay um, in existence, I guess. So you may as well send them to fight before they expire. There are money's worth out of them. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they'll even make it there before, um, before they expire. Quickly, run, knights. Run. So we go seven days until the enemies attack again. Ah, there we go. Just reached and then they disappeared. And regroup, people. Hold your ground. Come on, we got this. Ooh, there's quite a vault remember there. This could end badly. We may we may lose some troops here. Come on, archers. No, we did alright. We did alright. A zero food. I'm not sure, but we may have run out of... Oh no, I think this is the maximum storage. This amount is wood, this amount is stone. We have zero iron at the moment, but food-wise, we are full. So we need to, um... Yeah, we need to get some more storage for food. Because anything we make otherwise is just being wasted. So granary stores up to f uh, 50 food, so let's place that there. 
I'm gonna place another one there. And storage. We're okay on storage at the moment. We won't worry about that. I think it was a... Isn't there some water beer we didn't collect? Let's have a look. Here we go. We got 200 storage for food now. Happy days. Hello, dear. Enemy hut. Nice. Archers are just decimating them before they even get a chance to attack the swordsman, which is good. That's what we want. Okay, let's collect that. Oh, another soul crystal. Nice. Destroy them all. food and stone pretty good idea to go exploring isn't it some nice free resources you ain't joining the main army oh you are now dead onward Quite a dense foresty area, isn't it? So it can move through forests, so I'm guessing the enemies can, so I'll have to keep that in mind when building um, walls. Some enemies down there. The enemy will attack you that day, day seven. We're currently on day five, so we have two days until the next attack. Forty wood, nice. Oh, yeah. We've almost come full circle. Right, okay. Let's train up some more. Oh, hang on, research. Uh, we didn't start the research, uh -huh. did we? That's my bad. Who was that? Iron ore fields. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. Do you want to get some? Oh, stone mine. That doesn't make sense, does it? Um. Iron mine. Town hall two we need for that, okay. We're on day six. We one day away from the next attack. Our troops are under attack. So I think we want to make sure that we're building some defenses now. Oh yeah. Don't we're running out of time. Train up some more. Uh... Our troops are under attack. Huh? Sure. There's quite a few of them up there, isn't it? Oh, they're coming from that direction this time. Okay, so let's change the garrison point to there. Oh, yeah. You guys go over here. Right, oh. And we're going to train some troops up, some archers to go in there. Hey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can't build over that soil. Okay, so it's going a bit more this way. Research ah, we can't complete. build on that bit at all. Okay. Research complete. Nice. 
Unlocks the passive Mongoose Reflexes skill for your swordsman. 20% chance to avoid damage from single target attacks. We got unlocks the passive Sharpshooter skill. Yeah, let's, let's research a bit of that. That's good. You go in there. We got swordsman there, haven't I? What got a swordsman going in there, though? Well, they can't. Makes sense. So let's get some archers up in there. Oh, yeah. All swordsmen are group one. Oh, yeah. uh. We want to build another tower. Sort of here. That seems good. Uh. Get some archers up in there. Got one minute until the next attack. More archers, good. Good, good, good. What's that? Oh, a quick look. All right. So we got until the final attacking wave to kill all the rebels in the valley. What's that? Iron Vein. Ooh, mm -hmm. okay. We haven't researched that yet, though. Oh, can't, uh, can't mine that yet. Lord Lord. Royal. I can take nine. Just all the archers up in there. Good, let's close this gate. Research complete. Okay, we got some decent defenses up here. We can't build walls. Oh, we can build walls, okay. Um. Let's build it down there then. Enemy forces are approaching. And there. What didn't it look like? Like first it wouldn't let me build oh, the walls. Yeah. That's weird. Unless it's because I hadn't um oh, walked far enough over yet. That could be why. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna get these guys ready. Oh the builders might have a bit of a hammering. Come on, builders. Priority. Oh, we ran out of uh, civilians. We need to build more houses. Hey. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Damn. <laughs> that is a lot of enemies. We silly souls, man. Attack them when they come through. Hold your position. So the walls are doing okay. Builders run away. Yep. Wise choice. <laughs> Wise choice, builders. We're doing okay. What now? Okay, we, we didn't do too bad. Could have gone better. Moving. Did take. We take losses? Mm -hmm. May have taken one or two losses. Okay, so we'll get those walls repaired. Next attack's probably going to come from like this direction, isn't it? Oh, we on wood. 128 wood. Okay, let's get this finished. Um, train up some more archers. Uh. Um, oh, we're full on food. Okay. Um, so 16 people will arrive tomorrow. Research. That's finished. Nice. But building repair speed, I feel like that's a good one. So research speeds are pretty decent, at least on this level. I do think the attack's going to come from this way this time. I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a wall across here, I think. Oh, Let's yeah. get this uh, archer down here to explore, see if we can... Uh... Well, let's do that bit for some reason. Def... Oh, no, we didn't have enough wood, that's why. We've used quite a lot of the wood, haven't we? Um, lots of wood up here. <laughs> Oh, there's quite a bit of wood there, too. 
Let's reprioritize your area then. You work over here. Food. Always worth making sure that we uh, have enough storage for food. I don't think anybody's died yet. I don't see any bodies about anyway. So do we need... I've had no warnings to say that um, we've got any dead people causing disease. Research complete. Cool. We have finished the wall. Can we build a gate? No, we haven't got a foot yet. Research complete. Well, Town Hall 2. Or well, Town Hall 2. Um, we need to finish all these before we can research Town Hall 2, I wonder. Unlock research. Oh. Build Town Hall 2? Can we upgrade the building? That's handy to have an open and close all gates button. Just noticed that. Maybe we should build one of these just in case. We'll have a cemetery down here. Just on the off chance that there is somebody, uh, Dead. So they don't come from this direction. We've got nothing for that. <laughs> um, gates. Okay, we don't have any enough wood for gates at the moment. Come here. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go. What now? Hey. Let's see if we can stand out the numbers board. before the next wave, which is on day ten, two days time. Come on, Archers, you are coming along too. Huh? You weird. Sure. <laughs> oh, food. Oh, we don't need we don't need that at the moment. Save it for a minute. Let's have a quick look down here though, make sure there's no enemies down here. Okay. Right don't collect the food yet, we don't need it. Sure. We have lots of food right now. Wood, however, okay. we do need that. Let's get rid of these first. Okay, hold your ground. Oh, yeah. hmm? Let the archers bait them into uh, coming over. Oh, there's a lot more than I didn't realize these were up here. The uh. Oh, all of them didn't come over. That's good. That's lucky. Oh, collect the soul jam. Lord Lord. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Just bait a couple into coming over. And we need to build a gate down there. We need a gate. Oh, we could probably just get rid of the tower. Or the tower. Stock it with archers. Oh, there's a lot. There's quite a lot of them up there. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, they're doing okay. They're holding their own. Still got 13 swordsmen, so they're doing all right. Oh, yeah, come the rest from the last. Might change. <laughs> I might be about to change. <laughs> Our units are in combat. Day nine. Okay, we are losing a few now. So this is quite a large encampment, wasn't it? Okay, let's go recover some health. Stand guard there for a minute, folks, while you recover health. Oh, actually, collect the wood. We need that. Oop, two minutes until the attack, and it's coming from this direction. It's not the final wave yet, so they're not going to join in. So if you guys get over here... Um, nope, all we need. We just build a wall like that, and we're going to stick a tower in the middle of it. 
and I'm going to stock that tower with archers. I feel like that would be a good defense then. We have 16 spare civilians. So we can train some more archers. Looking on research. Uh, let's just go for that one then. We got three dead corpses. Just seen that up there. Alright, we'll um hopefully the this guy will take care of that. Let's open all the gates for the moment. Until the attack actually starts. Need enough for a wooden tower. Go one minute. Hey. Hopefully, these couple of guys that are left and decide to attack now. <laughs> well, we need enough for a wooden tower. We just need to build a wall down there, ideally. We want to save that. Oh, we got a minute. Come on. Not enough. We need one more wood. There we go. Quickly build this so I can get these archers in there. I think that's a decent defense Research then. Complete. I'm not going to bother building a wall across there because I don't want to get rid of the trees, but as long as we can build this in time, which I think we will, should be okay. Entire school of fish caught. Sorry, we still got some fish there. We're good. A lot of fish too. 210 food from each of those. There's over 630 units of food. That's the one that we've already fished out. Right, get in there. Right. Okay, you lot are now... Actually, you lot are team one. You lot are team two. Let's see if we can get some more archers trained though. Oh, we do have two more there. We are day 10, six seconds to the attack. Hopefully we're ready. Oh, we, we completely forgot about the catapult. Gotta put that up there. Here we go, how many of them is it gonna be this time? Oh, yeah. I'm bearing the wall. Ooh, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Do not hold your ground. You don't need to go out there yet, don't. <laughs> they are attacking again. Yep, we know, we know. Oh, good shot, Catapult, good shot. Walls and oh, that was that was about to give up. Get over there. We're gonna break through. Oh, one section walls down. Hey, go, swordsman, go. Good job, archers. Good job. Oh, yeah. hmm? Good job, swordsman. Good job, catapult. Let's get the uh, them up to speed, shall we? Okay, so storage, we only have 17 wood. We've used a bit of food. But we can collect more food if we need to. Right, I think oh, we yeah. should take these lot and get rid of Let's the rest go. of these now before they join the final wave. I feel like that's a good idea. Airport, you can come along as well. Is the grave um, bigger? Taking care of these?
but the area wasn't big enough. Ah, okay. Nope. Yeah, he's going now. She's going, should I say? So we've had an attack from over here, attack from there, attack from there. So logically, the attack now is going to come from the bottom, the bottom right. Hey. Okay, let's do it. Attacking catapult. Oh. They are attacking again. They were attacking, but not now. Okay, so they're all gone. There's another settlement down there to take care of. That was all of them from over here. Do a quick scout to find out. Oh, food. Good, good. We will take that because we're running a little bit low now. Oh, that's the corner of the map. Right, let's head down here. Line up with the catapult. And while these guys are coming down there, you go collect that. Go oh, fetch the cash. Ah, okay. So destroy. And we need to rebuild that a bit further on, do we? Uh, food, fisherman's hat. Ah, right, okay. So you need one of those per... Right, so they don't do the whole lake. It's one per, like, section of fish. <laughs> a section of fish. We get two of those built. And we build another one here, then. That should be... That should sort out our food uh, issue. Uh -huh. Now, if they're going to attack from this direction, we already have this wall, which are going to reinforce oh, yeah. with some more archers. I'm going to build something across here just in case, though. Huh? Let's get the car pulled in on there. And then these guys can take care of the ones that move forward. Nice. Okay, so it's, oh, we need 120 wood to increase the durability on... Yeah, we don't have that. Damn. Okay. What now? We go collect that. <laughs> we might need it. Now get back in line. Oh, wood. And more wood. Nice. We're going to need that. Okay. Move in and mop up. Oh, two attacks this time. Oh, still enemies. Okay, so 
Ah, okay, they are going to attack from this side. Are under collect this, collect this. We need to get those walls built ASAP. Have enough wood to do so, that's good. to think about getting back up there. Need some more archers. Not enough people. Oh no. It's now one ever. You better start getting back up here. We get attacked from both sides this time. There will be no mercy. There. Must remember to call in reinforcements. Food. Yeah, can't wait to get it, can it? For one minute. Sure. There. Let's get back up here before we're locked out. Okay. Oh, we haven't finished the wall yet. Ah. I forgot that bit was demolished. Oops. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll put this on top of the set of archers. We'll build another tower for, uh, for the archers. Yeah. The archers. Do, 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 do. Seven seconds. So we might not have enough time. Hmm? Oh, this is going to be brutal, oh, yeah. isn't it? The enemy are preparing their final assault. Does report uh, camp camps are joining the attacking wave. The enemy is gathering all his forces for a decisive assault. Our lord, the rebellion has entered the phase of a psychic attack. Peasants have decided to throw all their remaining forces at us at they once. Victor's hours if the castle defences will hold. Let's hope they do. Let's hope uh, they do. The city is under attack. Uh, sure. Damn, who would have thought there were so many of them? Damn. Oh, oh crap. They are attacking our buildings. There's a lot more than I thought. Oh, we might lose this. <laughs> After all that, we might lose this. Our fortifications are under attack. Hmm? Our fortifications are under attack. Here we go. Hey. Uh, will we survive, <laughs> survive this one, folks? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> they are attacking again. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. Uh. Our are under oh no, our houses. Our poor houses. Come on. We gotta win. We gotta win. Oh, 
We're not gonna win, are we? <laughs> We're not gonna win. <laughs> Close all the gates. <laughs> Come on. Come on. The city is under attack. Uh. We've been decimated, but we're gonna win, I think. As long as the castle holds. We still got some archers alive. They are they are getting through the enemies. Come on. No, come on, town hall. You gotta hold. Oh, I didn't realize you could garrison them in there. Oh, this would be a much better idea, wouldn't it? Did not realize you could garrison inside the barracks in the castle. Duh, look at that. would have been so much easier. You would have had some protection. Mind you, live and learn. Learn from my mistakes, folks. Well, we were... We didn't do too well, but... We're doing gas on our walls, too. No way. Can you? Oh, and you can. Well, you live and learn. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, we made it. We, we, we were decimated, but we won. 1,265 enemies killed. <laughs> nice. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Well, there you go, folks. That is our first look at Diplomacy is not an option. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed that. I will be continuing to play it. If you want me to do more videos on this game, please hit that like uh, thumbs up button and leave a comment below to let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.